getting approved for an auto loan. So this is one of the major keys to buying a car. When you walk into a dealership and say, I am paying cash, you just won. And you won because they lost all of their finance bargaining value. Seriously, you don't have to sit in that finance office and hear, well, you know, we could have got you this better rate, but you didn't do this or that or the other. I had, so when I purchased my car, I purchased it two years ago. I negotiated. I went between two dealerships. I have a Subaru Forester that I love, cute little SUV. I went between the two dealerships, one in Baton Rouge, one in Covington. And I negotiated. Well, this one's giving me this amount. Okay, well, this one's giving me this. I didn't lie. I literally negotiated with each of them and said, this other one's giving me this. What will you give me? And I did it until I got it as low as I possibly could go. Then I showed up to purchase my car. And I told the guy, I have one hour. So that's how long you have. And we were done in an hour because I had to go to a friend of mine's kid's birthday party and that was really important to me because it was his 10th birthday. So we got all the papers signed. I ended up doing the financing for them because they gave me such a good deal. But when we sat down at the finance, at the finance office, he said, well, I worked really hard to get you this 1.9%. And I said, oh no, you didn't, I did. Just step back, I was like, I'm sorry. At the time, my husband now was my boyfriend, had no idea what he was getting into, poor baby. And he looked at me like, oh, what's going on here? She must be crazy. But it's true, I did the hard work to get 1.9%. I kept my credit good, right? I worked on it to keep my balances low and pay my bills on time. I got 1.9%, you didn't do nothing but press a button. So then he wanted to sell me the gap. Well, I was putting down a good bit of money on this car because I got a, because I, I negotiated all my trade in. So I was like, I don't need gap. Well, you don't ever know what could happen. I said, I don't need gap, but thank you. Your product is too expensive. He didn't like that. So then he tried to sell me the warranty. We got down to like a seven year warranty for like $700 or so, I don't, whatever it was, it was ridiculous. And I wouldn't buy it because I didn't want to buy it through them because A, it wasn't as good as the one I could get at Pelican because it was better options, better deal, better coverage, and it was way more expensive. Why would I pay more money for something I can get somewhere else for cheaper and a better quality? So we signed the papers, we left, and as we got into my fancy new car, it wasn't really that fancy, but I feel like it was, my husband goes, I kind of feel bad for that guy. I said, that guy has on way more expensive shoes than me. I don't feel bad for him. Right? He got the money from somebody else. He just didn't get it from me. So, but the point of this is, is when you have the power to negotiate, you will win, right? And I'm not talking about they lose, it's win-win. Because I know that the people who sell those cars have to make a living and feed their families too, right? I'm not trying to steal the car from them. I'm trying to make a deal where they make some money and I pay some money, but everybody is comfortable with what we did, right? So, so important. And now I can have a relationship with them because I didn't try to steal their vehicle from them, right? I paid an honest amount for that car and I made an honest deal. But the most important thing is having that bargaining value. When you get pre-approved for a car, you're walking in saying, I'm paying cash. What you gonna sell me for cash today? Because a lot of times people aren't pre-approved and then they know, well, they might not be able to afford the car, we might not make the sale. But if you get me out of here in two hours and we're done, you can sell another car today. You can make two commissions, not just one, right? Everybody wins. You sell it to me for what I want, I go home with my new car and you sell another car. You don't spend eight hours talking to me. Because every time they come talk to me, they come and talk to me, and then they tell me how much it is, and then they go in the back and they say, I'm gonna go talk to my manager. And then they eat a sandwich. And then they have a Coke. And then they come back and they say, I just don't know if we can do this. And I say, okay, well good, I'm going, y'all have a good day. Right? Because that, that's, that's how I feel.